Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, there comes the basic question, why we need food? Now, as I said, that food provides nutrients. Now, what are nutrients? So, nutrients are those substances which provide nourishment needed for growth and maintenance of life. Now, when we are were born, so when even you were born, so do you think that you were this big as you are today? No, you were very tiny. A tiny little kid was born with tiny hands, tiny fingers, tiny face and everything so tiny. But when you look at yourself today, what do you see? You see that you are quite grown up. Your height has increased, your weight has increased, your overall body structure has developed. So you have become more intelligent, you have become more matured. So basically what's happening? So as you are growing with time, you are growing, you are developing. So growth and development is taking place within your body. Now, in order for that growth and development to take place, some energy needs to be provided to the body. So when you are increasing in height, so that increase in height is actually a process that is taking place inside your body. So for that process to take place inside your body, what you need? You need some energy. So have you seen those uh, television ads which come for a lot of health drinks like mostly for Complan, it is very popular, when they say that if you drink Complan, you will be taller. So why do they say that? Because they, they, what they try to say is that the health drink has so much of nutrients that those nutrients which will help your body to grow faster. So basically whatever we eat, whether they are fruits or vegetables or cereals or anything, so all of them have some or the other nutrients and these nutrients, they provide all the energy to our body that is required for growth and development of the body. So that is why you have seen that your parents often tell you to eat on time, to eat properly because if you skip your meals, if you do not eat properly, you will tend to become weaker. Your growth will not happen in the right way. So a lot of food items. Now, different food items again are rich in different nutrients because our body doesn't need only one kind of nutrients. There are many types of nutrients which are required by our body and different food items are rich in different nutrients. So, if you talk about milk, so milk might be rich in calcium and calcium is needed to keep the bones of our body strong. Again, if you talk about say fish, Fish might be rich in proteins and proteins are very much needed for uh, all the metabolic activities of our body because we can, uh, at the end of the day our body is composed of nothing but these proteins. So proteins are extremely important. If you, so if you talk about different food items you will see that each of those items are rich in a specific nutrient. So when we eat all of them, so now what, what would happen if you eat only milk every day? So you are not eating anything else, no vegetables, no cereals, nothing else, only milk all the time. So if you keep drinking only milk all the time every day, what would happen? Your body might have too much of calcium but then your body would lack proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, fats, so a lot of nutrients will go missing inside your body. So that is why it is very important that we eat different types of food in desired amounts, in required amounts. So let us quickly have a look at some of the food items which are, really, which are rich in different nutrients. So let's look at some of these items for example. So when you talk about milk, milk is, milk is a very rich source of calcium and calcium is important to keep your bones uh, strong. Now you would have often seen elderly people complaining when they are say 50 years old or 60 years old, they often complain that you know they, their uh, legs are aching, they have pain in their hands and legs and it is difficult for them to walk. And when they visit a doctor, the doctor sees that the calcium level inside her or his body is very low. So why did that happen? Maybe because that elderly person would have not consumed milk in right amounts since her youth. So it is very important to consume milk because it, this will keep your bones and teeth strong. Let's talk about something like fish. A lot of 
people consume fish so fish is a very rich source of proteins and if you have lot of proteins in your body that helps in the different types of repair inside your body tissue repair or metabolic activities of the body so all those things are supported by the presence of proteins now it is not that only fish has proteins there are a lot of food items which are rich in proteins like pulses are also very rich in proteins the soya beans are very rich in proteins you talk about bread whether it is bread or roti chapati wheat flour whatever whatever form it is so all of them are rich in carbohydrates and carbohydrates are a uh, basic need for your body because carbohydrates contain carbon hydrogen oxygen and all these things are needed by your body to perform the various metabolic activities without which your body would not exist because we are living organisms so inside our body a lot of work is happening all the time so even though you feel that okay i am sitting idle i am not doing anything so maybe that you are not doing anything but the processes inside your body is still working so even when you are sleeping at night you are still breathing so the processes involved in this entire phenomenon of breathing is happening inside your body your heart is still beating so that entire process of heart beat is happening inside your body and all of these processes need some energy to perform and that energy is provided by these various nutrients you talk about the varieties of fruits they are very rich source of minerals now if there is deficiency of minerals inside your body so you might suffer from different diseases talk about Uh, items like butter ghee so they are a rich source of fats so consuming fats in uh, excess amounts is obviously not very good because that uh, tends to cause overweight and the person becomes obese and if you are overweight you tend to get a lot more uh, diseases so you you are more vulnerable to diseases than others so fats should always be consumed in the right amount something like spinach or the green vegetables green leafy vegetables are a rich source of vitamins so you see different food items in our diet they are rich in different nutrients and that is why we eat a mix of all of them so we eat some amount of rice we eat some amount of vegetables we eat some amount of fruit some amount of milk so that our body gets all the different types of nutrients and body stays healthy thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.